Hey y'all, it's Bella. So I wanted to share with y'all my top five favorite perfumes from my collection. I have most of my collection up here on the top of this, what I like to consider my fragrance card. It's just a bar card, but you see what I got going on here. So the first one's gonna be this Perfect by Marc Jacobs. This one, let's see, the top notes, it says a rhubarb and narcissist. Middle note is almond milk, base notes. Girl, I'm reading off the computer, okay? But this one is really like, sweet but very subtle so this one i like to wear when i'm going to work like if i'm giving a presentation or something it gives very much like i'm grown i know what i'm talking about and i'm gonna smell good so this is my favorite one if i'm like going in the lab and i don't want to be too intense or too sweet i love to wear this one and then let's just talk about the packaging so it's this little blue bow but they have like different shoes on here, a cherry, and then they have like a domino, a banana, and then a cat. Yeah, there's a cat on the front right here. Like, I'm a sucker for packaging. Like, I love to keep perfume bottles even after that empty and, oh, there's like a little heart on here. I never noticed this. It's a little heart and it has an M and J on it. I never saw that. I just knew that the bottle looked pretty. So the next one I want to show y'all is this Dolce & Gabbana, the one. So this is the one that I like to wear like every day. If I'm just running out the door and I don't want to think too much about what I want to smell like, I always know that I can smell like Dolce & Gabbana, the one, okay? So the top notes are lychee, mandarin orange, peach, and bergamot. Base notes of amber musk, vanilla, basically everything you want to smell like, okay? This one, and plus it's gold. You know, I love gold. So this one, ooh. I could just, <laughs> this one, it smells also not mature, but sophisticated. I like to say it's not super sweet. It's very musky with a little hint of vanilla in it. But this one, I love smelling like this every day, spring, summer, fall, winter, day, night. Like I could smell this anytime. I really love this. This is my favorite scent. And then I have a new one. So more recently, I went on Rebel Scents and I got this. Uh, girl, I don't know how to say it. La Morus? La Maru? Um, La Maru? La Symphonies? Okay, anyway, let's get into the bottle. So there's like a little dragonfly on there and they have like little dragonflies on the top. So it comes off like this. I actually, I actually bought this machino thinking it was going to be like my signature vanilla scent. But it, it smells good, but it just wasn't hitting for me like I wanted it to. But when I got this, I was like, yeah, this is the one. This is that This is that everyday vanilla scent. Oh, it just smells so sweet. Like, it's not super sweet, but it's sweet. It's like the perfect balance of sweetness. And then, oh my God, the bottle. <laughs> like, just, oh, just look at it. This one, the top notes are mandarin and raspberry, and then also has some Bulgarian rose, orange blossom, mimosa, white rose, base notes, sweet almond, vanilla, bourbon, powdery notes, mush, dry fruits. It smells good at the end of the day, okay? Go and get you one. This is the most recent purchase I made. So this is the Gucci Guilty. Now, first of all, okay, you can look through the little cheese. This one smells really good, okay? Now, I wouldn't recommend this for like teens. So it's getting more into like the mature side, but I think it's a perfect mix between like vanilla and berry. So the top notes, it says pink pepper, mandarin orange, bergamot, um, middle lilac peach, jasmine, and then bottom would be amber, white musk, vanilla. This you you gonna smell like a little bit of money like you might smell like old rich white lady money when you start to wear this and i smelled it in the store like i just go in the store i go in sephora and i just start smelling stuff and adding stuff to my wish list and then this one i could not stop thinking about it i was like i gotta get it it's not super sweet it's not overpowering it's very subtle just you know something i could put in my gucci bag but i don't own no gucci bag baby let, let me make that very clear the next one and this is the last one so this is the ysl mon paris if you don't have it you need to go buy it right now go add it to your sephora cart your amazon cart whatever you buy perfumes you need it okay so this one it's the sweetest scent i probably have out of all of these but it's oh it smells so good this one is perfect for like date night you want to go see your man you want him to be like oh what you got on girl 
<laughs> just a little wire cell, you know, nothing major, nothing major. So the top notes are strawberry, raspberry, pear, orange, tangerine. Oh, girl, it's a lot. Um, bottom notes, white musk, vanilla, moss, cedar. It's like a, I don't want to say strong as in a bad way, but like a strong berry scent, like very, you know how you say makeup is very pigmented? I feel like the berry in this is like very intense, but not in a bad way. Like it's just, it's sweet, but it's just perfectly done. Like I know these designer fragrances like start to get outrageously, ridiculously expensive, but you start to smell the difference. I'm like, especially how, they, how long they last and everything, but you start to smell like the richness in the ingredients that they put in them. And I, I don't know, but it's just, it's giving. I wonder if I can layer it. And I still have the box back here. I got a um, I got a little Christmas set, so it came with this size and a little travel. Size. Oh, girl, the travel size going out of here. So I don't know where it's at, but probably in my purse somewhere because I love to smell like this. So that's gonna be the last one. I didn't want to talk too long and make a long video with my whole collection unless y'all are interested in that. But if y'all want to see that, definitely let me know. I wouldn't mind. But. I smell so good right now, girl. So let's just recap. I spray the Les Infinies and then I layer the Monterey on top, girl. I just smell like a strawberry, like, and then I got the pink on. I'm about to go take some pictures, y'all already know. But until next time, if y'all like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, especially if you want to see the rest of my perfume collection. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.